Pam introduced me to this idea of Tibet, and I reproduced all 200 pages of music, rewrote it, and now it's done. Complete Tibet. This is Tomas. He is going to be one of the musicians which is going to be featured under the very generous auspices of Josephine. I love you. February 27th, we're going to have a presentation of four or five scenes from Act Two. Here, or we're, we're discussing venue. What I did was I excerpted the cello line from Act Two, Scene Four. What it is is Doge has come down from the mountain. He's torn between being a monk and being in love. Back and forth, back and forth. Meanwhile, the world that he knew, this is in the 50s, is coming apart. Pamela very wisely did not make this a political drama. She made it a love story against, like Les Mis, it becomes a love story against something. Doge comes down from the mountain to meet Tseng Mu, his lover, and they meet at a river. And they decide to be together in the boat. And they get into the boat. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful, quiet scene. They're, they're absolutely in love with their country, Himalayas, Tibet. They're watching the beauty of it. And as they're holding hands, floating down the river, all of a sudden, Sang Mu looks over the edge of the boat, and she sees articles, sacred objects, from the destroyed monasteries floating past her. They're shocked. This is their, their world. And as this is going on, this is the music you'll hear. And I wrote it intentionally so that it's filled with emotion, but it's compressed. It's not loud, bombastic, filmic. It, and, and, Tom, and Tomas, very beautifully, it was originally written for a violin solo. He transposed it into high cello. And the emotion is sensational. Mm. All right? And I would like to present Tomas. Thank mm -hmm. you. 